Hello world, welcome back to my channel. I am Sahil and we are developing an e-commerce project using Laravel 10 and in previous video you have already seen how I have implemented this order stats within this order resource and I also implemented this uh, tab group filter within this order resource. Now today in this video I am going to show you how to work on order relation manager with a user. Okay. So before going to start, let me open my VS code and uh, from here, let me open my user model. So if I open my user model, then here you can see there is no relationship defined with the order model. Okay. So first we uh, need to define the relationship with the order. If I go to order model, then here I already defined a belongs to uh, relationship with the user okay a single user now if i go to user then similarly here also i have to define a relationship so a user can have multiple orders so here we have to write orders and then i will use return and then i will use this belongs uh, sorry has many has many and then i will write order model and then class okay so the relationship has been defined in user model now next what i will do is just open filament php official documentation and from here just click on this managing relationship scroll down you will find this command copy this command and open a new terminal now just paste the command here now next what i will do is i will change this the name of the parent uh, resource so in this case uh, the parent resource is user resource so i'll write user resource and here we have to write the name of the relationship so i just defined a relationship with the order model that it that is orders okay so here we have to write orders and here you can uh, here you can mention any of the column name from the orders table so for now uh, here i will use id and if i hit enter then let's let me show you a new file is created inside this filament uh, and then this resources directory okay and if i uh, expand this user resources directory and inside this there is a new folder created relation manager and inside this there is a new file created order relation manager dot php file okay now here uh, you can see it uh, comes with a uh, form method and table method okay so uh, let me first uh, go to here and if i go to any of the users edit page then uh, here you can see the uh, order section is not visible just below this form so to make the order relation visible just below this form uh, let me go to this user resource.php file and here you have to find this get relation method and you have to call this order relation manager here okay so remove this comment and just write order relation manager make sure to import this class above now close this now if i reload here then you will be able to see a new section uh, with a table and if i click on new order then you will see this uh, model so from here from user resource i will i will not create a, a new order so i will hide this button so let's first hide the button so if you go to this table method then inside this you can see this is header action so you can see this is the create action so using this a line of code this uh, button is visible here so i will comment this code and if i reload then you will not able to see any create uh, order button okay similarly i will not use any uh, form so just uh, remove this and make a empty comment here i will only uh, display some column values in the table okay so for this i will work on this table method so uh, first remove this and let's start defining the columns so first i will uh, display the order id so here i will use text column 
make sure to import this class first okay so if you go here then you will find this import so import this text column class and then i can use uh, make method and here i will write id and i can also use a label that is order id okay and i'll make this uh, searchable okay now if i save this and reload the browser then here you can see a search box is appeared and in a single column with the label order id is showing okay similarly uh, i will display other columns so i will next display the order status okay so here i will write text column make status and i will use a batch method to display the status in batch now if i reload this page then here you can see the status is showing in a badge okay uh, let me uh, open this user so this user have two uh, order so here two orders showing in the table with a status now i will also make the color of the status different so for this uh, what i will do is i can use color method now in 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 this color method it accepts a callback function and let me write state state and it will return a string so just write a string then arrow then i will use php match function and here i will write the current value of the status and then inside this i will write new so for new i will write info color i will use info color and for processing processing i will use a uh, warning color and for shift i will use success color and for delivered delivered i will also use success color and for cancelled i will use danger color okay now if i save this and reload the browser then here you will be able to see the color of the status uh, has been changed okay similarly like color i will also display an icon just before the status value okay so to show an icon i will use icon method and similarly i will use a callback method so let's copy this and paste here and inside this uh, again i will copy the same thing and paste here instead of color name i will write the icon name so i i'm using hero icons so hero icon hero icon m and then for new i will use sparkle sparkles okay sparkles now let's copy this same thing actually and paste here and here i will use arrow path and here i will use truck and here i will use check badge b a t g badge and here i will use x circle if i save this and reload the page now here you can see an icon is visible just before the value of the status okay now i will make this uh, sortable so if i give sortable method then you can see a caret is showing just before the status so if i click on this then it will be sorted okay now next uh, i will display payment method so just below this i will again use text column make payment 
method and I will make this okay I will make this sortable and also searchable if I save this and reload the browser then you can see the payment method is showing here similarly I will display the payment status column so I will write text column make uh, payment status status and again I will use sortable and searchable if I save and reload then you will see this payment status uh, I can use here batch method so this payment status will display in the badge instead of seeing a simple string okay now i will display the order created date okay so uh, here i will use text column make a uh, created underscore at and here i will use a label order date order date and here i will use date time sorry date time method to format the time stamp so now if i reload the page so here you can see the order date now uh, let me display one more field uh, before this id okay so here I will use text column and I will use mic and I will write grand total grand total and I will use money and I will use INR and if I reload then you can see the grand total of the order is showing here now you can see uh, there are two action now if I click on edit then you can see this empty model okay so I will not use this edit action I will use delete uh, admin can delete any order directly by going uh, directly from the user resource so I will use this but I will not use this edit action instead this uh, I will create a uh, custom action so I will remove this one and here I will create a custom action to open order detail view page okay so to make a custom action you have to use action and you need to import this class okay filament high, uh, filament slash tables slash action and then use uh, make sorry make and here i will write uh op view order view order or you can write anything like open and then i will use a url method here okay and inside this url method i will use a callback function and i will use order uh, model order model and here i will write record record and it will sorry it will return a string so just write a string then arrow and here i will use order resource so i will use get url method on this order resource and then i can use uh, any uh, any page name so here i can use edit or view so for order resource i already created a, a separate view uh, page so i can use view here and now in this array we have to pass record and the current record so just pass the record here okay and i will also give this a color so just use color info and i will also use an icon so just use icon and I will use O then I okay just use comma here now if I reload then you can see 
a new action view order is showing now if i click this view order uh, button then you can see it is redirected to the order detail page where you can see all the detail of the order like uh, order information order items and address okay and from here you can edit this order just by clicking uh, edit and you can okay so from here i can uh, change the status like uh, delivered and click on save changes and you can see the order uh, status has been updated now if i go to users and this is the user so i when i click on this user then you can see this uh, order status has been changed to delivered okay so that's it for this video in next video i will show you how to work on dashboard page so in dashboard page i will display uh, some order statistics uh, uh, widgets and i will also display latest order uh, table in dashboard page okay so thanks for watching this video if you like this video then then hit on like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel